All right, so um, let's talk about this fucking game. Um, Giants Broncos this week. Uh, we actually open up in Jersey, uh, which is fucking lovely because that shit doesn't happen often. Um, so I will say the the closer I got to week one, the less confidence I have. In this team, I lost a lot of confidence in this football team uh, since the beginning of preseason. To be honest with you, it really all started with Daniel Jones not playing until the last preseason game. I don't think Jones is someone who should be like not fucking playing for all of the prime preseason. You ask me, I think he should have played every damn game, every preseason game. Um, Andrew Thomas looking like some bullshit. You know, Matt Pert looking like some bullshit. All this shit. You know, with that offensive line is really, it's fucking my confidence up in this team. So, um, I, I had this as, as a strong victory for the Giants. I did. I, I thought that, um, regardless on if Drew Locke or Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater starts, I honestly thought our defense was going to hold off Denver. Um, I still think we can win this game, but Denver's a tricky team. Uh, the Broncos are one of those type of football teams that... Uh, they can surprise you. They they can literally either shut your ass the fuck out, you know, with their with their nasty ass fucking defense, or their offense can turn the fucking ball over so damn much that they find themselves losing. Obviously, with them not been in the playoffs in years, in a few years, we you know which one is more likely to fucking happen, right? Um, here's the thing. Uh, Andrew Thomas, Matt Pert, Nate Salder, whoever the fuck you want. It doesn't really matter at this fucking point. All three of them look, look shady, to be honest with you. Uh, Von Miller, Bradley fucking Chubb. I mean, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I look at this damn schedule, and I look at the damn, um, you know, our division, especially with Washington in our division, and you look at the damn pass rushers that we face twice a year. You look at the pass rushers that we got to face in the, uh, the, you know, the regular season this year. And then you look at them pass on Rashawn Slater in the draft. You look at them not fucking draft the best fucking tackle last year in the draft. I don't, I, to this day, I still don't know what the fuck Dave Gettleman was trying to do. You had Jedrick Wills and Tristan Wurst right the fuck there. And you draft Andrew Thomas. Yo, sorry ass fucking team got you a fourth overall pick and you still fuck up. You still don't draft the right fucking tackle. So, um, keys to fucking victory. Don't turn the fucking ball over. I know that's going to be hard to do when you got fucking Bradley Chubb and Von Miller probably licking their fucking chops right now. Um... Saquon Barkley is back. That should be exciting. Or we're back. The fucking fans. That should be good to go. And good to, you know, good to, to fucking see. Um, all I can say is I hope our damn defense confuses the holy shot of Teddy Bridgewater. Because if Bridgewater has a good fucking day, I think we're going to get shut the fuck out in our own damn stadium. I don't have any trust in... I want to make this shit perfectly fucking clear. I don't have any trust in Jason Garrett. I don't have any trust in Dave Gettleman, the, the, the former fucking football team. I don't have any trust in Daniel Jones. I don't have any fucking trust in, in none of those motherfuckers on that damn offensive line. Uh, I, and I'm going to get to... They, they made Nick Gates a captain. I'm going to get to that in a few fucking seconds. Um, And I don't have any fucking trust in... Any of these damn wide receivers, okay? The only one I have trust in is Kenny fucking Galladay. And we haven't even seen Kenny Galladay play yet. Because he somehow didn't play the entire fucking preseason. I don't know if he... I guess he was hurt. I don't know, right? You're making Nick Gates a fucking center. I don't know why. Nick Gates fucking sucks, okay? Will Hernandez looks exactly the fucking same. These fucking tackles... Look worse than fucking last year. You keep drafting on good ass fucking players in the draft. And now we have to play Von Miller and, and Bradley Chubb and uh Vic Fangio's fucking nasty ass defense. And you you guys really expect us to I think we can win. 
I'm a I'm a I'm a crazy ass fucking person if I expect them to fucking win. Okay? Monte Ball, the former running back for the Broncos, he said a few damn days ago, he said the Giants should be cakework for fucking uh for the for the fucking Broncos. And all the fucking Giants fans got all damn mad and shit. Hello? Bradley fucking Chubb and Von Miller are going up against Andrew Thomas and Nate fucking Solder. Oh, and look at the fucking quarterback. It's not like we're protecting Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady here. They are fucking protecting Daniel fucking Jones. I think their defense alone can beat us. So no, I'm not... I wouldn't be surprised if Denver comes to our stadium and walks all over us. I wouldn't be surprised. You know? Should have fucking fired Dave Goldman. Do I hope we get our asses beat? Obviously the fuck not. I hope I hope we beat the fuck out of the fucking Broncos. You know, I do. But I'm keeping it the fuck real. We're not going to be a good fucking team until we get Dave Gellman out of here. He should have never been fucking hired. We did all that fucking waiting for them to fire Jerry Reese just for us to so hire another sorry ass fucking general manager. And now look at us. We might as well just kept Jerry Reese. We look exactly the fucking same. So, go fucking Giants. Um, if I had a score prediction, I think we squeak this one out. I don't know. 10 to 13, I guess. I wouldn't be surprised if we get blown the fuck out. 25 to damn, I don't know, 7. I, I mean, I, I'm so fucking sick and tired of seeing this sorry ass offensive line every week one. Every fucking year, you, it's the same damn story with this fucking offensive line. So... It is what the fuck it is.